Hello. It's October 11th. We got to get caught up on some trailers. We have eight daily demons to go through. A lot of daily demons. But first, we also have a handful of trailers. Uh, let's start with a Hunt Showdown trailer. I believe this is a new character reveal. This is the kid. Is this supposed to be like Billy the Kid? Yes. Wait, why didn't he pull out all of his six shooters and shoot them? Those are cool gun names. That's pretty cool. Pretty easy character reveal. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, this next game is a game by the name of Glay Lancer. Just rolls right off the tongue. It's Glay Lancer. This is the console announced trailer, but for me, it's the game announced trailer because I have no idea what the fuck this game is. Oh! It, is this called a shmup? I like the music. We just took a hard turn right there. And we're done. Wait, what is that? Rata Laika Games. It's like a corgi with a little person sitting on its head. Huh. All right. That's that. Next trailer is a PSVR trailer for a game called Song in the Smoke. Let's check a look. Is this a spooky game? Looks like it. Well, maybe not. Are you going to get high on mushrooms? What the fuck is that? I would slap the shit out of that if it was doing it to me. Slap that fucking animal. Looks scary. It's kind of spooky. 
Here's trailer for uh, Bonito Days. This is the pre-order trailer. I guess we're going to have some pre-order uh, announcements in here. like a, a 80s song what the hell I just kind of like the music. Super Mutant, thanks for 13 months. Appreciate the Prime Gaming. All right. That's Bonito Day. Z. Uh, available on the Switch and the eShop on the Switch. Uh, here's a Call of Duty story trailer for the upcoming game Vanguard launching on November 5th. This is a pretty long story trailer. Two minute, 28 second. Here we go. men that's war sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier i wonder if they had to replace um wait never mind that's battlefield to sorry finish the mission. that's price talking right Ooh, that looks very good after years of fighting the war had shaped us all wait price isn't around at this time. wasn't over yet stupid the SOE put me in charge of a new team, handpicked for a top secret mission. I'd led soldiers before, but this group were far more than that. Lucas was an expert demolitionist who had issues with authority. Wade was the most dangerous thing in the skies, and he never let you forget it. That Alina looks was really the best good. sniper in Russia. She wanted nothing but vengeance. Richard was my right hand. He always had my back. We were aimed at where our enemy was most vulnerable. Berlin is burning. From the ashes shall rise. Our vision. We get to kill some Nazis? Later. Let's to go. <laughs> Freisinger is leaving Berlin. He's taken the Reich underground. Christ, what is that smell? It's the smell of death. Normally, there are proper procedures to extract information. We're <laughs> gonna get like torture scenes. Covering fire! We can end this. Bury the right for good. Glory is worth nothing when you're dead. This fight, it matters. Forged in the fires. We were the tip of the spear. We were the vanguard. Digital pre-orders get instant access to the light. <laughs> Forget about this dumb gun every time I Raid see it. And it's just so stupid. It's so dumb. Uh, yeah, I mean, that 
that game graphically looks very good. That game graphically looks very good. I will probably play that maybe sometime in 2022 because Endwalker come well, unless I could play that from like the fifth to the tenth. You could probably get that done in like two or three days, right, Chet? I would think. I possibly, yeah. I mean, one day if I like really go try hard, I think two days probably makes sense. It's probably an eight to 10 hour campaign. The last campaign was a three day stream. We could probably do that on the fifth. That might be kind of fun. Might be kind of all right. Oh shit, it's fucking, it's storming outside. Anyways, next trailer is a Rainbow Six Siege trailer. For the uh, ho the October event, this is uh, Doctor's Curse twenty twenty one. Hidden within a dark castle lived a man whose experiments unleashed unspeakable horrors. <laughs> Few survive the depravities committed within these walls. That looks weird. Those that did became more bloodthirsty than their monstrous ah. tormentors. Only the unsound of mind would venture back to this castle of dread. And yeah, these skins look kind of crazy. When they return, they won't come alone. Monsters will play. <laughs> Evil laughter. How would uh, someone who's never heard evil laughter know what evil laughter sounds like? That's the million dollar question, I guess. Uh, chat. Gather around. It's time for some weeb. What? Like, who plays these games? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here's a game called uh, To the Rescue. Sorry, I started playing it before we were on stream. Screen. And now I'm not full screen. This is, it's fucking rookie hours, amateur hours over here, chat. All right. game looks very sweet.
That looks very sweet. Very uh, gentle game. Now, this next trailer might be a little bit in the weeds for just like a trailer time, but fuck it. This is the Siege rework for Total War Warhammer 3. It's about uh, five minutes long. Let's see what they're reworking. Sieging a settlement should not be an easy undertaking. Total War Warhammer 3 has reworked how sieges work. With new ways of attacking as well as defending, every inch taken will cost dearly. Settlement maps are now larger, and we've introduced more variety of maps than in previous games. With the fall of the Turtle Gate, Miao Ying moves her army from the Snake Gate to Wei Jin. Is her name Miao Wing? In an attempt to bolster the city's defenses and drive Siege out of Cathay. Wei Jin capital of the Celestial Dragon Empire, is a three-walled fortress and a testament to Cathay's architectural brilliance. When defending, walls are the first defense against an attacking army, but by no means the last. We now have the option to turn the streets into a bloody maze. Using supplies, we can build towers, barricades, and traps. Prepare and plan your defense, but never rest easy. The first object for any attacker to overcome is the wall-mounted towers. Unfortunately for our Sinch invaders, towers now have wider capture areas, so defenders don't need to be as close for them to be active. This means we can spread our docked units across a larger area and pepper the invaders with arrows, bullets, and artillery on their approach. The might of Grand Cathay isn't enough to keep Siege from breaching the walls. The walls will soon fall. It's Wait time to fall back to our secondary position. How do the Chaos have ladders? That seems kind of dumb for like these like demonic horrors to be like, we need a ladder over here, guys. Yeah, we got a scale. I need a ladder. Yeah, let, okay, thank you. I'm going to climb up there and go kill some people. Have a good day, bye. Positions within the city. Our defense now lies with our barricades, traps, and towers. We'll need a new currency introduced in Warhammer 3, supplies. We'll start the defense Surprise? with a base number of supplies and can Surprise. gain more during combat by holding locations around the settlement. Minor supply, Minus building, surprise and victory points. These key points have pre-designated build locations for construction. Once a barricade or tower is constructed, it can be dismantled for a refund of supplies and rebuilt Spies. elsewhere. But keep in mind, construction is and dismantling is a lengthy now. process. Barricades surprise, and towers are destroyed if their health reaches zero or if the supply, building or Sup victory point they're attached to is taken by the attackers. If this occurs, your supplies are not refunded. It's worth noting that whilst attackers can Rest capture eyes, points, they cannot build barricades or towers. Rather than a messy brawl in the streets, Warhammer 3's sieges are about defenders controlling the flow of battle, Some using a settlement's architecture to plan and execute layered fallbacks and hard points, where they can chip away at an attacker's forces. To this end, settlements have become multi-leveled with bridges and upper tiers that cross over streets, giving ranged units more opportunities to shine. A good many of these bridges and overlooks are dockable like the primary walls, giving our soldiers all the buffs and benefits of any other docked unit. In sieges, both the attacker and defender's role Just are Carl tactically Urban more challenging yes. and more rewarding. Settlements in Warhammer 3 have been designed with more open areas and strategic avenues to hide troops in. The avenues are the perfect ambush spot, making flanking and devastating charges a more viable tactical strategy. In overview, Warhammer 3's sieges offer a diverse array of fresh settlements to overcome and protect. They allow defenders to prepare for a new kind of battle occurring after the attackers have taken the primary walls. 
They add a new currency to manage and spend on fortifying defensive fallback positions with barricades, towers, and traps which are used to further repel invaders. They allow for a multi-layered experience where units can be docked to overlooks and walls within the settlement itself and encourages real-time reorganizing of defenses to adapt to an ever-changing battle. All of these features, coupled with dynamic new settlement designs, make for challenging and satisfying sieges packed with highs, lows, and phenomenal visuals. Wei Jin has fallen, but the forces of Xinx will struggle to reach the celestial city above. The Dragon Emperor is safe for now. Even so, his daughter has barely managed to escape with her life. To Nangao she travels. Does it? I don't know what I just watched, chat. Sega! All I know is that I screamed Sega, and that's what matters. There's a lot going on there, guys. Just, there is a lot happening, you know? Next trailer is for a game called Codex Strategeries. That's not right. Strategium. This trailer is called Destruction. Oh, it's a Warhammer game. The worlds of the Imperium are a grim fusion of mechanized industrialism game? and religious zealotry, ravaged by the battle scars of never-ending conflict. From desolate factories through to Gothic cathedrals, you will find that the threat of Nurgle's corruption is ever-present. Not Nurgle! A shrewd commander can use objects found on the battlefield to their advantage. Plasma batteries can be targeted to cause massive area of effect damage. Statues and cranes can be toppled to crush enemies. And bridges can be destroyed to halt the advance of maddened cultists. Within the war-torn worlds of the 41st millennium, might alone may not always be enough. Exploit the environment and arm yourself with a tactical edge over an insidious and unrelenting enemy. Okay. Short and sweet, chat. Short and sweet. Uh, this is the console release date trailer for Evil Geniuses 2 World Domination. We've seen a lot of this trailers. Product not yet rated. Okay, it's not right. It's not yet rated, chat. How is this game not rated yet? chat it's all about that world domination wait a minute we're not done pre-order now to receive some unique items chat this next video is 17 minutes long I don't believe we're going to watch all 17 minutes. However, I would like to just skim through it as we've kind of done with all Forza Horizon footage. Uh, this is from Easy Allies, who is a great uh, publication that you should probably already uh, be subscribed to if you're not. And uh, if you want to even go further, you should probably check out their Patreon. 
Uh, but they had a hands-on look with uh, Forza Horizon 5. Drop zone approaching! And I want to take a look Lovely at it. Might also be DMCA. Good lord, that's a pretty looking game. All right, Jones. I'm finally able to say that I've played a little bit of Forza Horizon 5. I knew it! <laughs> I wanted to say something. Royale events. I, they, they just uh, just threw, threw the Xbox just down. Man. The field. Cool. The first half of the week, they had the dry season. And then starting today, they had the wet season. So I just went around and drove around a little bit with the, the wet season. And it's roughly, they say, about the first hour to hour and a half of the campaign, depending on how much time you, you mm -hmm. screw around and explore and stuff like that. I was also, uh, they have both a graphics and performance mode. I don't know what person will want to play with the graphics mode, but there you go. Uh, everything captured here is captured in performance. You know, once Forza Horizon, like, made that leap to 60 frames per second, I'm not going back. I'm sorry. I agree with that statement. <laughs> Let's fast forward. Talk before, but you actually do talk back to the other characters this time around. And as soon as I open my mouth, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Like that's the idea skipping is, still be kind of charmed by it but like how many times that's kind of their right. mo now is that a horizon mo or is that like a forza thing no it's totally a horizon thing yeah yeah, yeah. the other more, more hey, it looks like a horizon game. game so do you just kind of enjoy them and, and chuckle or, or do you yeah kind of, do you it's, it's just sort of it's it's kind of just like a checkpoint along the sure. way you know it's sort of like a yeah one of the benchmarks you know they they don't they don't have a ton of that kind of thing and some of them are cool i remember when or you like race the train or something at one point, and, cool. you know, and, and that could be that looks fun. Very just, good. There's just times where you just kind of see them like almost like in the world too. Like. I want to say it's quicker to, you know, to get through that kind of introductory stuff. Hmm. Um, and then, yeah, you just sort of let loose. There's a small pocket of where the events are. Uh, and they had, they had a good mix of things there. Um, there's some, when does this come out chat? You know, more road based and, you know, driving, you know, not not quite a sim style as, you know, like the main motorsport series. But, you know, you're on the road and you're not, you know, bouncing over a lot of jumps. Or anything is it like this that. month? But then they do have uh, the off-road cross-country courses, which are really like just cool. bounding. Oh, my God. Yeah. Trees. <laughs> November 5th. And getting around through all of that. We might uh, have to, oh, November 8th. I think they like have a little bit of early access time, don't they? Like the speed if you pay a little bit more or something like that. You know, you're kind of typical, like at the end of the runway. So you just like get oh, nice. all the way down that runway. Yeah. Go all the way back and try to, to hit that jump as far as you can. Oh, uh, shit. The race there, too. I was going around trying to hit those. Uh, the, they have the smash board thing you know, for XP car. And travel stuff. One thing that's fun because I was playing with the music off, and I don't know if they've done this before, but I don't remember. The boards actually play music when you're close to them. Okay, yeah. So if you're searching sense. and you're like having a hard time figuring out where things are, like if you just that car, that's a Corvette. Off, you'll hear when one's close. Oh, cool. That's a gorgeous uh, so that's, looking car. That's fun because there'd be times where I just be I'd be driving around just messing around and like I'd hear it. I'm like where where is it? Where is it? <laughs> ah, it's in that pipe. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> uh, and then uh, there are a couple of times where I got into around like some of the, like the uh, the ruins, like Mayan temples and things, and I just have them lit up really well. And there's this big ramp. I'm like, all right. <laughs> and and then uh, I found one of the uh, bonus boards inside of one too. So it's it's, it's nice to just like drive into it and like see what's there. Oh, uh, one thing that was nice uh, when I was around the the dunes and the beach earlier, as I saw, there's a, there's a little bit more terrain deformation. Oh, nice! Um, so that, like you Neat. can kind of see the the sand move a bit uh, behind your car, and nothing like super groundbreaking or anything. But I I remember feeling at times that like Forza needs a little bit more of that. Well, I imagine with all of the like photorealistic games mm -hmm. that you play and cover, it's like those those gains are small and in some cases like very specific. that looks fun like one racing game right like we're i wonder if i would enjoy forts a lot more if i was like tires. playing so, you know like we're all about with, damage uh, a friend or two so i think jericho to, likes forts yeah. how do you pick up those tiny details maybe i can I try to like really set up some races any, with him like major weather changes i didn't see it like pour down rain or anything like mm. that but like i said i went back and checked out the wet season and it's hard because like with, with england like the seasons are so distinct it's like 
this is white. This is pink. This is orange. Yeah. This is green. So you know, producing the seasons and all of that, it just kind of feels like, okay, here's the groundwork. Here's a new location. Uh, and it's, you know, everything that you, you like about Forza Horizon. Mm-hmm. But so far, not really seeing a whole lot new other than, you know, just the new map to explore. We're not being very focused on the Forza franchise of all the Forza releases. Like, How much does one of these Corvettes cost, cost chat? Than I am expecting them to. Like, mm-hmm. there's sometimes I'm like, yeah, maybe they're going to skip this year. Maybe they're like, no. I'm a Twitch are. streamer. I'm <laughs> expected <laughs> to have well, a very overpriced an car. Extra year for five. Okay. It doesn't feel that way. Again, yeah. as somebody who's not like that, you know, immersed and doesn't follow it that carefully. So does this feel on track still, though, even with, like, online stuff not having access mm-hmm. in terms of, like, the hundred grand? That's way too much. Where they are at, potentially, at this point. Just in, in I will never so spend like, yeah, more than kind of locked in in terms of like 50 grand on a car. From it's that. not worth it. Yeah, I don't well, drive. Like I said, I think they are taking more time now. You know, the Forza Motorsport still, we don't know when that's coming, really. Um, so they're really retooling that. And this one, I think they, they took a little bit more time with. They did put out those DLCs, um, I think two or three of them for four, you know, including the Lego one, which was really fun. But yeah, I, I think it's it's on track. I'm curious to see what else is in the in the final game. It's good. It's just, it's like I said, there's not really, this isn't a surprise <laughs> to me. It's like, I, I know the formula so well. Yeah. Uh, and I will definitely be digging. It's kind of what I always like, expect with Forza. It's myself, more no, Forza. Don't worry about the bonus boards. They're not. It's not going to matter. Yeah. You're going to do this again in like three weeks. Just wait. <laughs> Was well, an open world fan <laughs> playing games. You know, Just Cause, Grand Theft Auto, Assassin's Creed. Like, yeah. I definitely get the vibe of like, well, here we go again. You know, yeah. it's like I. I and I was coming like, across places where like I came across this big like dirt racetrack and like, okay, there's going to be a cool event here and like that place with the temples like. This is going to be a multiplayer mode map. Sure. Like, this is just prime. Because that's one of the things I do love about Horizon is that yeah, that's a it super. does hit all of these different points really well. And like, you know, they make multiplayer. Oh, no, that super just got that hit. Oh, that got because hit on the side. And same thing with open all right. Like, hey. It feels good to get around and explore the open world. So That looks like Forza. Are we? Uh, beginning in November, I think. Beginning in November. All right, let me do one last uh, perusal here, see if we missed any new trailers. And then if not, chat. We all know where we're headed. Okay. Oh, wow, I missed this news. We'll cover that tomorrow. Chat, don't let me forget the Monster Hunter news for tomorrow. All right, I got to sit up in my seat. It's Daily Demon Time, chat. We've got a doozy. We have eight Daily Demons, chat. We're breaking through into the 140s. Here we go. Number 140. Are you guys ready? Shin Megami Tensei, Yes Day Turning Devil, etc. This time, we will deliver the Demon King. Shoot. Collection. What? Ame. What's his name? Before appearing in ancient Chinese myths, he is also good at fighting and wins consecutive battles, leading the army of his brothers. Next time, I will introduce the Great Tower. Please look forward to it. All right, pretty tame one. Pretty tame one there. Number 140, Tame AF. Tame AF. Here is number 141. Shin Megami Tensei, yes, day turning devil, etc. This time we will deliver a fallen angel. What happened to the Great Tower? Adora, Adora, see you can buy it. 
地獄の小所長ヘルズ地獄の王のショドコラヘルズチェリーブラッサムカスタムルームは上級議会の主人公の肩書きを持つシニアアセンブリーラバの姿で現れるアピアリングアピアリング僕には I was told that I could turn into a fallen angel. Oh. Next time, I'll introduce the goddess. Please look forward to it. I think the next one's Paris Vati or whatever her name is, maybe. Yeah, that was like a Bojack Horseman creature right there. I don't know. Number 142. Shin Megami Tensei, Shin Megami Tensei, Yasuke Turning Devil, etc. This time, we will deliver the goddess. Sarasvati. Sarasvati. Wild Brawl. Bra? Goddess Day of Indian mythology. One pillar of Yamanaka God. It is said that 64 music and art can be used freely. Oh. I re s u e all. Hey, Chad, we can't be DMCA'd with 64 music. Next time, I'll introduce Kunizu God. Please look forward to it. Okay. I will. I will. Three down, five to go. Number 143. Shin Megami Tensei. Megami Tensei. Yes, day turning devil, etc. This time. I think it's a god of gods that surprises Kunuzu god. Oh, okay. Five gods that appear in Japanese mythology. How to make a good land with the Okunushu god who is said to have spilled from time to time. Chat number 144 is coming up, and it's Jack Frost Ho. Here we go. Prepare thyselves. It's time to get hoed up. Shin Megami, Shin Megami Tensei, Tensei yesterday turning Kumato. demons, etc. This time, I will deliver the mountains. He is the mountains. Jerk Frost, I think there is a possibility. Yes, 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 yes. I thought his name was Jack Frost. Jack Frost, who grew up viciously. He looks evil as shit. It is a figure that has changed without neglecting the relationship as a demon. It is a snow fairy, and I got a mighty power like a grandson. <laughs> What? And I got a mighty power like a grandson by splitting it with this figure in the summer presidential meeting. Okay. Next time, I will introduce the primate. Please look forward to it. Well, don't mind if I do. You got to watch out for those grandsons, man. They're powerful. They're real powerful. Number 145. Shin Megami Tensei. Megami Tensei. Yes, day turning devil, etc. This time, we will deliver. The primate. Jatayu. Indo Shinwa no Hagewashi no Oo de Ari. Beichou Garuda no Keshin de Aru to Sare. Rishinu no Keshin de Aru Rama Oo Tasuke. 
I wonder if it's Ravana. It said that he struggles to regain Princess Sita. You don't even know who it is. Next time I'll introduce the beast. Please look forward to it. I think the narrator was drunk for that one. He didn't even know who it was. He didn't even know who it was, Chad. He just said he thinks. Number 146. Shin Megami Tensei, yes, they turning demons, etc. This time, we will deliver the sacred beast. Maron. What the fuck is that abomination? Water in the forest of Bali Great Curse. Barren evil, which is a symptom before the Guardian Shuttle due to the ritual of people who used to be in the same cell. It he has said that it is destined to continue the battle that cannot be settled away from being strong, which is a symbol of. What is it a symbol of? What is it a symbol of? Oh my God. <sighs> ah! Oh, you're spoiling. Jesus. Narrator just like started talking on its own. Number 147. Shin Megami Tensei. Shin Megami Tensei. Yes, the Eternal Devil, etc. This time, we will deliver a ride to Yananshi. Houses. Forgive the head. Fairy Day in Ireland. It is said that it will appear as seen. By a human woman, loner lover seeking the love of a human man, inspire a lover instead of sucking up the spirit of a man who became. What? Next time, I will introduce the God of Destruction. Don't look. He doesn't want you to look forward to it, chat. He doesn't want you to look forward to it. That'll do it for trailer time today. I don't know. They left. We got two cliffhangers there, chat. We got two cliffhangers in 146 and 147. But hey, tomorrow, another day. We got more Daily Demons. We got more trailers. And we hope to see more of you tomorrow. All right. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time on the old trailer time. Should be a good one. We'll see you then.